In this short video, I'll cover an interesting additional way that naive Bayes classifiers can be useful. They can be used as a language model. The way you can use them this way is pretty simple. Basically, just compute likelihoods for all unigrams in your training data without removing any stop words or unknown words. Then you can figure out the likelihood of an entire sentence by just multiplying together all of the individual word likelihoods. This is just like what we did when we looked at naive Bayes for sarcasm detection, but in this case we're not interested in predicting a class, so we can skip the final step of multiplying our likelihoods by the class prior probabilities and finding the argmax. Here's an example showing how that works. So let's start kind of at the place where we left off for our previous example with sarcasm detection. If you're watching these videos out of order, you may want to go back and review the video about training a naive Bayes classifier using bag of words features for context. Now, in this case, we actually want to retain all words, so let's put our stop words and unknown words back in the equation. For the unknown words, we'll just go ahead and say it had a count of zero in each class, and since we're smoothing things, that'll be fine. So now we need to go ahead and compute some new likelihoods given this new information. With our stop words included, we now have 27 words in the sarcastic class and 21 words in the non-sarcastic class. Across the entire vocabulary for both classes in the training data, we have 34 unique words. So we update the denominators in our original equations. We also need to go ahead and compute likelihoods for five more words told, she, was, for, and him. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we get the values that you see here. So we have our likelihoods for individual words. Now we just need to compute the likelihood for our test sentence. We'll go ahead and do that for each class. So for the sarcastic class, we'll multiply 0 0.033 times 0 0.016 times 0 0.033 times 0 0.033 times 0 0.049 times 0 0.033 times 0 0.033 times 0 0.016 times 0 0.016 times 0 0.016 for a product of 1.26 times 10 to the negative 16th power. For the non-sarcastic class, we'll multiply those likelihoods in a similar fashion for a product of 1.75 times 10 to the negative 16th power. So interestingly enough, we actually end up finding that there's a higher likelihood that this sentence belongs to the language model we created for the non-sarcastic class than the sarcastic one. Of course, if we went on to make a classification decision, our decision would depend not only on the sentence likelihood, but also on the class prior probabilities. However, this is actually a nice example of how stop words can be problematic in text classification. In this case, they just added a bunch of noise to our solution because even though they're not inherently associated with either class, they happen to be slightly more prevalent in the non-sarcastic data. And since stop words are so frequent, this information just ended up overpowering the information that we got from more meaningful words like so with four O's.